hey, you're watching Your Plates or Mine, the cooking show where you don't have to be a professional chef to be a star in your own kitchen. I'm your host, David Miller, and we bring you the best recipes from cooks just like you and I. So what do you say? Spend a little time with us, and we're going to show you how to make a fantastic recipe that you're going to want to share with your family and friends. Hunting season is approaching, and my good friend Pat McAllister is here to show us some amazing recipes on what we can do with wild game. So, Pat, thanks so much for coming and being a part of the show. David, glad to be here. Well, what are we making? Uh, well, today we're going to have uh, our favorites, which are uh, venison roll-ups, uh -huh. some uh, venison cutlets to serve with uh, hot wing sauce, and, mm. and my kids' favorites which are deep fried Oreos for dessert. Ooh, we're going to have a little healthy dessert, huh? <laughs> yeah, very healthy, not endorsed by the AMA. Okay, great. Well, what do we need to do to get going? Well, first we got to start, we got to prep our meat. Okay. So, uh, you know, it really starts at the beginning. You know, we go, we, we go through all this hassle of hunting and, mm -hmm. and spending all this money to, to do all this stuff, and then we end up with this cut of meat that most people go... We, Venison? Really? Are you kidding me? Yeah. It all starts with a prep. Right. Whether in the field taking care of them mm -hmm. or processing, uh, getting a good processor or processing it yourself and getting the stuff off. So we're going to take some, uh, some shots of some meat, mm -hmm. uh, how, we, uh, how we prepare it, and then, and then the simple way to really fix it so it tastes good. Great. Okay, Pat, we got this great venison roast here. Mm -hmm. What do we need to do? Well, Venison is, is different than beef. So many people are used to dealing with beef mm -hmm. where you want a little fat, a little stuff. Right, you know, marbling. A little marbling makes mm -hmm. it, gives it flavor. Mm -hmm. Venison, that will kill the taste of anything. Right. It's, it's, it just, it doesn't cook well that way. So what we want to do is we want to get off any of the fat, any of the, the, any of the white stuff. The white stuff, the, mm -hmm. the, what, what we call the silver flesh, the stuff in mm -hmm. between muscle groups. Mm -hmm. We want to cut off as much of that stuff as possible because it's going to really ruin the taste. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. The 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 fat in a deer is actually tallow. Yeah. And that's the stuff they make candles and soap yeah. out of. So well, don't want to eat that. So all we do is just just kind of just gently slice, slice gently it slice that off. I'll go ahead and start that's like perfect. that. And just take this and throw it away, or feed it to the dog, or whatever. Now that we got it all cleaned off, what do we do? Oh, now this is where it gets difficult, Dave. Mm -hmm. Takes a lot of work at this point. We're going to set this hunk of meat in a crock pot. In a crock pot. All right. All right. All right. That, that's okay. challenging, but we're qualified. And, and it's frozen. It's frozen. Okay. So you could, if you had one that was cleaned or, or even a beef roast, you could just pop it out of the freezer, pop unwrap it, freezer. put it in here. Throw it in there. Mm -hmm. And now the difficult part that comes after that is the secret, which is a can of Coke. Okay. And it can be <laughs> Coke. You know, any carbonated beverage, Pepsi, Mountain Dew, Dr. Pepper, whatever you want, cover it with about 12 ounces, which is not going to be enough to cover the whole, um, the whole roast, mm -hmm. but it's going to get some juices in there. Okay. Take that, turn it on, come back and see it in 8, 10, 12 hours. A lot of times I'll do it overnight. Put it in the night before. And then and it's ready in the it's morning. It's ready at lunch the next day. Okay. I've got the roast in the crock pot on low, going to let it go all day. You've got one that you did That's last right. night. Start, so. Started this uh, 12 hours or so ago. Mm -hmm. Same process. And it just sat there and has... Uh, wow, that smells good. Yeah, It's cooked all night. So let's take this out and see how it looks. Okay. Not make too big a mess. Now at this point, this could be... You know, put it with potatoes and carrots and green beans. And right, just do it like a roast. regular roast. Mm -hmm. It's ready to go. Um, you could do that and then do uh, some leftovers off of it. There's uh -huh. a ton of things you can do, but my effort in this has been zero uh -huh. at this point. So, but from here, just to see how tender this has, has gotten. Oh, yeah. 
it just, just falls apart. It's falling apart as we start to pull it. Mm -hmm. All right, and there's still a little bit of the uh, of the the flesh will will kind of get out of there. But you mm -hmm. can see this is just as juicy and tender as can be. Oh, nice! And look at that color to it. Yeah, I mean it's just fantastic. So this is going to be really, really good eating here in just a little mm. while. And it smells good too. Yeah. So you can see how it just shreds up. Mm -hmm. It's just uh, and that's what falling, you want to do. You want to just shred it. You want it falling apart. You want it's just like pulling pork or, mm -hmm. or anything else. Now, if you want it a little a little smaller, we can t we can take a knife and, and cut it and up. Chop but, it too. And mm -hmm. you can chop it up a little finer. But this is just really oh um, yeah uh, coming apart looks, great. Yeah. yeah. And then whatever sauce you would want to use. If somebody mm -hmm. wanted to do barbecue sauce, mm -hmm. it'd, it'd be barbecue. Um, Done that a lot. Made just straight up barbecue out of it. Okay, so you could just make like a pulled venison pulled, slider. A pulled venison slider. Mm -hmm. um, I've made barbecue pizza out of it. Ooh, that uh, would be good too. Just just all kinds of, of mm -hmm. little recipes. But what we're really going to do with this now uh -huh. is uh, is go the next step, and we're going to use um, buffalo some, wing sauce. Some wing sauce. Yeah. All right. So these are going to be spicy. Spicy. All right. All right, we've got it all shredded up all right. in a bowl. Mm -hmm. uh, David, you take and be mixing this in. Okay. Uh, just kind of coat them a little bit, get a good okay. flavor to it. So you don't want them swimming. You don't want but, them swimming, but okay. you want them coated in red. All right. All right. Good deal. And, and I'm going to be getting, what we're going to do is. Uh, yeah, what are those? These are, are uh, spring roll wraps. Okay. Uh, you'll find them at uh, Asian markets, international markets. You could use um, wonton wrappers, egg roll wrappers. Okay. But basically, this is uh, a almost like rice, uh, rice mm -hmm. paper. It's, it's uh, ground rice and it's used for making okay. um, oh, yeah. uh, uh, like little salad rolls or something like that in, mm -hmm. in Asian cultures. And, and right now it's real stiff. You can see it just it, yeah, it'll it breaks. Break. Mm -hmm. So we have to do something real special. Let's set that one out of the way. We're going to take and put just a little bit of water in the plate. Mm -hmm. Just kind of cover the plate a little bit while you're doing that. All right. And then we're going to dip this one in the water. All right, both sides. Yeah, just both sides because it just gets it on there better, quicker. And then I'm going to set it aside. While you're getting that done, I'm going to get a couple of these ready. And after just a few seconds here, these will, I'll show you, these will get very um, uh, pliable. They'll roll up real good for us. They just have to soak in the water real well. Mm -hmm. and, and you can see this is already, has already gotten. Oh, yeah, look at that. You can, look, you can just. It's getting flexible. It's getting real flexible. Just take a, a good little chunk full. About like that? Just drop it on there. Okay, is that about right? Oh yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. uh, watch, what, watch what we're gonna do here. We're just gonna take, and I always think of a Seinfeld episode where they're rolling cigars. <laughs> I'm rolling up a, a good cigar here, and you mm -hmm. just fold it over. Okay, tuck the ends. Tuck the ends in. And then set, set it, it aside. Set it on the I just set it on, on the, the seam on so the it doesn't seam unravel. So unravel. Okay. Now we we are going to pan fry them, mm -hmm. but you can pan fry them in olive oil. They're not right. going to absorb a lot. Mm -hmm. Pretty healthy, actually. Okay. If you compare it to a lot of things you're going to be eating on right. game day. Yeah, better than bratwurst. Yes. Although I love bratwurst. Yeah, Brats are good. Mm -hmm. right. And you can see now. See, this is what you'll run into. This is not really hadn't really softened up yet. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm just going to take a little bit more water. Rub it on there, get some off the plate. I just use the plate because it's easy to dip in yeah. and out of. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to gently fold it over. And there it's going to it's gonna seal. Now, what you'll see on some of these other ones, you can see it's already starting, they're sticking together a little bit. Mm -hmm. As they dry out, it will stick, you know, it'll so stick together. back up uh -huh. so you can fry them up. So be real simple. Nice. And again, nice part about this is it's something that can be prepared mm -hmm. and set aside. Right. And then... You're, you can prepare them on middle of the week. You're having a uh, party on for Saturday. Everybody's coming over for the game. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about doing these on Saturday. Right. You can do them on Tuesday evening when you got time. Mm -hmm. Set them aside. Put them in the fridge. And, it, and, and then... it's spread out. Oh, mm -hmm. you cook the, cook the roast one night. The next night you do this part. You set right. it aside. And it, it kind of helps that time budgeting. Yeah. Yeah, because that's, that's one of the big issues when you're doing entertaining and stuff. Do you have the whole day, you're cooking the whole day, by the time your guests That's come right. there, you're tired and you don't want them to be around very long anyway. So That's if right. you do it ahead of time, there you go. And total cost in this <clears throat> outside of the thousands of dollars spent hunting, right? <laughs> I mean... No, no, no. The $20 yeah. we spent hunting. Yeah. Yeah, tell the wife that. That's right. 
I mean, you've got a couple of dollars for wrappers, wrappers. a couple of dollars for barbecue for uh -huh. barbecue or wing sauce. Uh, what's a can of coke? A can of coke, coke yeah. You know, you're spending five bucks. That's great. That is a cheap meal. That's cheap, a good easy. one. People mm -hmm. love it. Uh -huh. Tastes good and easy to do. All right. Now we've got all of the roll-ups made. Right. And what we're gonna do a skillet with. What do we got yeah, in here? Some we, olive we've got, oil. We've got we've got some olive oil olive in there. Oil. Mm -hmm. uh, just getting it heated up. Um, what do you use? About medium, medium high, medium high. Okay. Because yeah. what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch them as they cook. Because as we load them in there, you know, mm -hmm. a bunch of it's going to take the heat out. Right. And I just want to kind of get them um, uh, golden a little bit, maybe right. a little more. Sometimes a little more crunchy, but pretty okay. much gets gold, yeah. golden brown. And and you can see at this point they are just really soft and drying drying out pretty good mm -hmm. so this is exactly how we want them and i'm just going to show you if we go ahead and just yes. drop them in there all right and load a few in try not to burn my fingers off doing it you could use those yeah and yeah, take all the fun out of take it take all huh? the fun out of it <laughs> And we'll just let them go for a couple minutes. Again, the meat's already cooked. Right. So, so all, all we're really doing is, is making that wrapper, crisping it up, that's and right. kind of. All right. That's right. So now we're just going to let them go. And it takes two to three minutes two, per side? Two to three minutes a side. Okay. Uh, and, you know, if you like them a little more done, you want them. Let you, them go a little longer. Just a little longer. Mm -hmm. I mean, other than the time in the crock pot, what is this, maybe a 10, 15 minute recipe? 10, 15 minutes. And the great part is you can just set them aside mm -hmm. and do them anytime you want. Anytime you want. Mm -hmm.